Well, Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease where part of the brain degenerates for reasons we don't fully understand. Vascular dementia is due to disease of the blood vessels in the brain, which causes secondary damage due to a shortage of blood supply within the brain. Sadly, there are few treatments for vascular dementia. There's some evidence that if you treat things like blood pressure early on in life, years before people develop dementia, that you can reduce the risk of dementia. But once somebody comes to me in clinic with the diagnosis of vascular dementia, there's very little we can do other than provide support. But you do get frustrated when you see patients and you realise there's not much you can do about a particular condition. And that's when you want to get involved in research and see if you can really make a difference, which hopefully by working with people throughout the world together, we can. Recently, people have realised that we've got to do something about vascular dementia and money has been put into understanding the basic processes that cause vascular dementia and the underlying biology. And this is providing some important insights and potentially some new treatments. But we need to be able to test these quickly in patients. And the techniques which we're developing hopefully will allow us to do this. We can use the MRI techniques to work out relatively quickly whether some of these new treatments are likely to have an effect on delaying the disease itself. And if they do, we can then prioritise those for testing in big clinical trials. We're enormously grateful to everybody who's given money to support our research in vascular dementia. It's made a huge difference and without that support we wouldn't have been able to develop the programme of research that we've established and to do this exciting project. So I'd like to say a big thank you.